How was Buckingham Palace yesterday for you? Yes, it was lovely, darling. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't <laughs> so get nice. to meet Charles, but uh, I Have had you been a in before? wander around. It was enormous. I know. Uh, it's incredible, isn't it? It's a big garden. As I came in, there's people just aimlessly wandering through the gardens. I thought, well, where well, were we supposed to go? Well, that was just me and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> So it's lovely to see you back. I mean, you you tour a lot. You you perform live a lot. Mm. But this is the uh, this is the first release in about twenty years. It is for here, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, but so you release overseas. I did a uh, I did one album. It's still not a great deal, is it? But I did one album that was in released in Europe. It was a big band swing album. I was oh. doing "Lose Yourself" by Eminem, "Into Sandman" by Metallica. Oh my God. Weird. Wow. As swing. But it was good fun. But so this the is the first one in this country. Yes. And uh, and you've gone back although we saw all the pop stuff there from the eighties, mm. you, you say your roots are actually in soul and that's the that's the theme of the album. It is, and it wasn't meant to be that way. Uh, Arthur Baker approached me about uh, putting an artist with a uh, publishing house. So he said it seems natural that we should go to the people that own all the catalogue from stacks and high records. And uh, but I'd already, over these years, I've been trying little bits and pieces, thinking, what is a Paul Young album now, you know? And I do stuff, and I think, is, it's not contemporary enough, or, yes, it's contemporary, but it doesn't really sound like me. And I was thinking, well, what is a Paul Young album now, you know? And, uh, and then I, once the Arthur thing started to take shape, it just kind of fell into place. I thought, oh, I'm kind of going back to my roots, really. Yeah. And it's probably the best thing I can do if I don't know what a Paul Young album is in this current day and age. Well, there's a, it's an album of soul covers, and picking the songs, I imagine, was quite difficult for this, because you're such a, a fan of that sort of music yeah. anyway. We just got stuck into the barrel, you know. We yeah. went past the top load, and then uh, Arthur and I would get together and we'd just go... And we'd talk, and then we'd find stuff on the computer. We'd, Do you know this one? Do you know that one? And... Um, and then there are some songs like I Believe in You by Johnny Taylor that we both knew. Uh, L-O-V-E is probably the most well-known one mm. that, that was just on the radio. And, uh, and then there's uh, Your Good Things About to End by Lou Rawls. So these are quite... they're well under People the surface. People may not necessarily have heard them, so... So oh, it leaves yeah. me freer to... Then I feel more comfortable about finding myself in the song, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Uh, what I love is, um, is there'll be, you know, sort of, well, if, you're, if you are uh, used to these sort of things now, then... Yeah, you know, now you can show the uh, big one. That. But, ne but look, look what I've got here. Very excited Whoa, when we, we got so excited. Yeah. It's like you've shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It feels oh, good, doesn't it? Was that important feels to you? Good. Uh, to I didn't know the record company were going to do it and it was a big surprise and uh, I'm surprised at What's the What's that smell of? I've never smelled vinyl. <laughs> oh, it smells... Oh, I'm I, it doesn't smell like they used to vinyl smell. junkies. They've Give changed, me a go on that. No, they've, smelled, they've changed the smell. Did they? Well, it doesn't smell no, like mine. No, it doesn't smell, did. no. <laughs> anyway. Stuff, this is I love the fact that strange. immediately your hands go into that mode. They go yeah. into... Yeah. Don't, so you don't touch, don't touch it. it. Don't touch it. I know. Maybe we just put our noses on it. Yeah. The thing is with... with. Well, going back to that montage that we showed earlier on, you you, yeah. you were never that far away from the from the hits that you made because they they are co still constantly played. Yeah. And every Christmas, does it drive you mad that that opening line from "Do they know it's Christmas?" Oh God, here it is again, haunting me. Yeah, it's always on in Tesco's or wherever I happen <laughs> to shop. You know, uh, come Christmas, it doesn't bother me that much. And it's really funny because it's such a big thing now that I got the first line. But in my mind, my bit was the middle. And I, I did the middle at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Then I was hanging around all day, and come 5, 6 o'clock, they called me and said, would you do the first line? So wow. it was an afterthought. But, but what, was it supposed to be Bowie? That's what I say. That's Bob goes, not. made that up? No, it wasn't, you know. Uh, 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 but I'm sure Whose I... Whose was that? Bob? Yeah, kind of. Excuse <laughs> 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 me now. Well, and that's a put a swear word in it. It doesn't sound oh. like Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and I realise I'm on TV. Yeah. So I yeah. Well, let's, that. listen. Are they plucked eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> they just grew that way. <laughs> a bit like my hair, Phil. I've done the Phil Schofield, it's called. In the I know. Yeah, like it's so good. Because people can spot you in a crowd. <laughs> that was like me at Buckingham Palace yesterday. There were so many people there, but I found you like that. Because I was like, there he is, there's the silver fox. <laughs> in a heartbeat. Um, and you're touring, I mean, you can't see tour anyway, so are you now doing new songs off the album? Yes, we are. We put them into the Paul Young show. I'm actually touring as a pack of Minos as well. Tomorrow I'll do text three, text three text pack yeah. Minos and then a Paul Young. So. Yeah. Oh, great God. It just coincided that the albums came out at the same time because this was shelved for a while, the, the Paul Young 
project and the Pacamino stuff was going to come out, then all of a sudden, New State got involved and said, no, we'd love to put this out. So, so Jamie's got it. a great voice. So I'm back to being in a band again, which is what I like. Yeah, yeah. How is your, uh, your daughter? It's, it's Levi, isn't it? Yeah, she's doing very, very well. Forbes magazine's top 30 young entrepreneur to watch. Yes. Yeah. And what was so funny was yesterday I met Levi Roots at Buckingham Palace and I said, you're the only other Levi that's ever been on Dragon's Yes. Day. And my daughter was like, and he went, I can't believe I've got to get her. So they follow each other you on Twitter. You must be very proud of her. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a very successful business, hasn't she? She's doing very, very well, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, the website crashed after that show and they had trouble keeping it all afloat. Oh, but now wow, it's that's really, what you want. really well. That's lovely to hear. Thank well, you, Well, lovely thank to you. see you. Um, thank, thank you very much. much. We've got the album there. Yep. Good thing. And it's that now, so thank you very much. Thanks, Paul. Hello YouTube, for more of the same just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. What did she say this about way, the tissue way. as well? She, gets well that was a, uh, she said to me the first thing that she lost was her nasal hair, her nose hair. Yeah. Um, so her nose constantly ran. So she said, I always had a hanky in my hand. So we'll notice, I think it's in about a couple of weeks' time, David starts to lose his hair. Um, I've constantly got a hanky in my hand. That's my little, uh, my little... Acknowledgement to that. Yeah. Nod, nod to what she told me.